Hey guys, so today we're going to talk a little bit about my favorite languages for API development or backend APIs. So let's get into it. Now this was a great subscriber question that I got the other day where basically this person was kind of highlighting the trend that you see in software development today where it used to be the case that a standard web facing application was simply an application that had a data layer and a view layer where you did some type of HTML rendering and you send that to the client. But these days it's actually much more common that people are moving towards API driven applications. And for those of you who are not aware of that, an API is simply a way for you to, instead of going to the server and say, hey, can you make me this web page with all this information and send me like this HTML document? Instead of saying that, you're saying to the server, just send me the raw data, like the data that you would show on a web page. Because if you do that, you can actually do whatever you want. The person, like the client can be whoever. It doesn't have to be a browser. It can be anything. It can be a set another system. It can be a wearable. It can be an embedded system. It can be all kinds of stuff, right? And instead you use SPA frameworks, such as React, Angular, Vue, Aurelia, name your favorite one, right? But that brings the question, what are my favorite solutions for doing server-side APIs? Well, I'll tell you. In first place, depending on, it kind of depends on what I'm considering, what I need to build. But my personal favorite, the go-to for me, is Node or JavaScript with, depending on the situation, TypeScript on top. If I'm making my own personal little project, I'm just starting out with something and I'm playing around with some ideas. Just adding Java, just using Node is awesome for that. API, APIs are really efficient and really nice to build in Node, where there, there's not that much CPU intensive computation going on. And adding TypeScript into the project makes the project a lot more scalable over time. But let's say for the sake of argument that I'm trying to build something a little bit more serious, I'm most likely going to have to scale it up to maybe quite a few users and probably have to well consider adding more people to the project probably going to have to have some kind of type of performance discussions and stuff of that nature that's that brings me to the second thing then this choice for me is based on the use case of the api in other words if I'm building something from absolute scratch. I'm starting my own company or I'm starting from nothing. Then I will have one set of considerations, but if I'm building something for a large corporation or I'm building something for an existing system or something of that nature, I will have another set of considerations. So the way that I think about it is that if I already have an existing client, which is most likely going to be some bigger company somewhere, the safest bet for me, if I'm going to hand this over, if I'm not going to be the person maintaining this system over time, or this API, I'm going to give the ownership of to somebody else. I'm basically a contractor. I'm going to pick Java. And the reason why I pick Java is because, not because it's the most performant thing out there, but rather because it is the thing that is going to be the best or the nicest thing for whoever's going to take over ownership. Because Java is so widespread and it's very easy to find people to maintain your system. It's easy to keep on maintaining a system, an API made in Java. So my personal favorite for that, that sort of development is Spring Boot. Java with Spring Boot is absolutely amazing for making REST APIs. I, that's my personal favorite. And if I am building something from absolute scratch and I'm going to own this product for a long time, in other words, I'm making my own product or I'm building it for my own company and I'm going to stick around for a while. Then I'm going to lean between, the decision for me is going to be between Go or Golang, if you're, that's your preference, or Rust. One of those, those two types of things. The reason why, I, Go is probably the, it would probably be the best standard choice for this. But I'm also considering Rust these days as I've been working more and more with it. And I've found that in terms of performance and especially memory management, like the, the learning curve for Rust is a little bit higher and it's like a little bit trickier to get started than Go. Go is optimized for this sort of work, so it should be your go-to for this sort of thing unless you're getting into the sort of dis the thoughts that I have where performance, like really high performance is, is the measurement. I have actually, I actually work on a system where I think Rust would be a very good fit for this, where literally the 
computation, like the API is being hit so often and so frequently that garbage collecting is actually a problem. The algorithm that is running is actually too heavy and it, the garbage collection is taking too long. So we would really need to tweak that. And Rust would be a really good use case for that as it doesn't have any type of garbage collection. And you can still work in a fairly efficient manner. You don't have to drop all the way down to C++, but you can still get the benefits. But to summarize, my first default st decision or choice is going to be JavaScript or Node with TypeScript. That's going to be my, that's like my bread and butter for almost everything. Unless, as I said, I'm building something that is going to be owned by a big corporation, another company somewhere, then I'm going to go with Java with probably Spring Boot or some, something like that. Because as I said, it's easier to maintain and it's very well a very well established thing and probably the performance-wise not the best solution, but it's the best decision for the company long-term, most likely. And if I really have to squeeze the absolute shit out of my performance and I really am going to own it myself, uh, it's, the decision is going to stand between Go or Rust. Yeah, th those are my thoughts. Have a great day.